All right, here we are, day three of the uh, cab over storage and lift up bed platform build. Um, just going to take uh, a measurement on the uh, the furthest panel in, uh, so I can uh, cut out those access holes for that uh, forward cubby, so we can access those, um, you know, up toward the front in the cab over, and uh, go ahead and measure those out, get them cut out, and then frame in a little. Uh, uh, access uh, door so they can just lift out we have access to that uh, that front cubby I'm gonna do that first and then um, of course get all the the uh, round overs and the edges sanded on the uh, on the lift up panel and get everything um, kind of taped down and semi-permanent in place uh, get the hinge put in and uh, yeah get the mattress set up and get the uh, you know pretty much finalize the whole thing so let's get to it all right so I got the uh, little cubby access panels marked out on both sides that's gonna be a small one that I'll be able to access it and then I got my my hinge uh, markings got that centered <laughs> and I got the uh, corners rounded over and all the edges kind of sanded down. I'll cut these uh, little pocket compartments, these little doors for the cubby uh, storage access on the table saw. You can do it with a uh, you know a jigsaw or something like that, but um, I'm going to do it this way. It makes it a little bit cleaner cut. So to do this on the table saw, I've got my my mark here where I need to cut this out. So I'll just measure over that six inches. I move my fence over. And uh, taking into consideration that my blade is a sixteenth of an inch. Now the higher you can get your blade here, the better because it'll take less wood out of the corners. And we'll do the same thing for this cut here, only we got to measure over 20 inches. I'll move the fence 20 inches. Make that cut. Lower that blade down. So for this cut, we need to just raise the blade up into the wood. So we're at eight and a half inches. Move the fence over to eight and a half. got our little cubby panel and the cubby cut out right there. I recommend doing it with a uh, jigsaw or something equivalent. It's pretty dangerous to do it the way that I just showed but uh, I've done a lot of them that way. I've never had an issue with it but uh, I don't recommend doing it that way. I guess I'll do this side with the uh, jigsaw just to show you. Go right up to the line. And then just as a little trick, put a piece of scrap wood 
or you know something underneath there to not damage it so you don't have to drill a hole or you know put a big uh, radius there just take a putty knife all right so now take that out you've got a slit there all the way through so you can run your run your blade from your jigsaw right down in there and make your cut All right, so here are the little strut pieces that will prop up the bed top uh, for access. It's just um, pine plywood. It's very lightweight, but it's three quarter inch. So I wanted to give you know just a little bit more strength than that half inch stuff. I'm going to round all, all the edges over and get them all nice and smooth, and then uh, drill my hole uh, for the the swivel nut and uh, get these installed. Nice and round it over. Get my uh, my hole drilled. I got that marked. Get my hole drilled and get the uh, hardware installed. All right. So the hardware for this is real simple. It's just 1032 by one and a quarter inch uh, machine screws, a couple washers uh, for spacers, and um, some threaded T nuts. 1032 threaded T nuts. The T nuts will uh, go into the holes on the on the uh, little brace piece and uh, the machine screws will run through the, the little cubby and I won't tighten them down all the way I'll just you know kind of snug it up so I can still you know move this back and forth all right so inside the truck camper here I've marked uh, with just a black sharpie all the way down where these um, braces and cubbies need to be and um, you know for my spacing so this one obviously I need 20 I went 25 and a half inches wide on this one and uh, 19 inches here uh, for this one so uh, my bunk bed platforms can fit in I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, command strips uh, on the bottoms of these guys and and get them installed all right so I'll get all the command strips in a bunch of them up there down here, inside there, all over. Put uh, four of them on each piece. All right, so with the uh, adhesive down, I'm gonna go ahead and start bringing in the platforms and get my hinge installed. Here comes the front platform. Okay, so I just cut a few uh, little braces out of some scrap wood that I'll glue and screw to the sides here. Uh, that way I can, I'll have something for that lid to sit on on this side. I wanted to maximize the amount of room for this cubby, so I'm just going to uh, use a couple of small pieces just like this. Right there and there, and that'll support that little lid. Probably don't need the glue, it's a little bit overkill, but. And the same thing here. All right, so on these uh, little lids for the cubby on um, toward the front there, I put this little you know, lip strip of wood. So when it lays down in there, it won't slide out. like that. All right, so I got this uh, front panel all screwed down to the uh, stringers underneath. And I'm going to go ahead and get my hinge in. All right, so when you line up your hinge, um, you want the, the back side of this hinge to be lined up on the edge of the stationary side. So um, that way you've got, it'll bring it out and you'll have just a slight gap um, on the panel that lifts up so you don't tear up this this uh, inside edge here this top edge and When you're doing this just run the screws in nice and easy. Don't strip them out 
and you start to feel a little bit of tension, you can also set your clutch down. Get all the screws run in. All right, so that's what I mean by that uh, rear edge of the pin. Make sure it's right on that line of the inside or the uh, the front panel, the stationary panel, and um, then run all your screws in along that one, and then just run in one, two, three screws on the panel that lifts up, and then you know test it to make sure it's not binding. All right, so now I can test it out, make sure it's not binding anywhere. Perfect, nice and smooth, doesn't hit anything on the sides, and it lays flat. And get the rest of the screws put in on that uh, on that hinge. All right, so I'm getting ready to drill the holes for the, um, the braces to uh, hold up the bed top. Uh, just got them kind of temporarily holding it up right now. Um, I went two inches over and two inches up from the from the uh, carpet here and uh, I'm gonna get my hole drilled and then I can run the machine screw through and tighten it down. We're doing that on both sides by the way. All right so you just hammer the uh, the t-nut into the brace the prop up brace and uh, this, the washer goes between the wood here and the wood here on the brace. And uh, we can run our machine screw through, line it up, and thread it in. If you want to put some thread locker on that, you can, just so it doesn't uh, work its way out. I'm not using any glue on these uh, braces up here. Just in case I want to upgrade to the strut, you know, the gas strut, uh, I can just remove those. Uh, got that put in there, and I'm going to do this side now. Okay, put a couple of those uh, felt tabs around here on each one, on that and that. Got my little brackets in for the for the bracing, and there it is. Go ahead and get my my bunk torn apart and put down in there. Okay, so the new mattress is on. You can take the bed, prop it up, and have we access to our cubbies all the way back here. That's cool. I'll show you something I did real quick. Now on the braces, I put a little stop screw right there so that can't accidentally pop out and I did it on both sides that way you don't have to worry about the uh, the bed coming down on you it's not that heavy but uh, you you don't want it coming down and hitting your head so let's get the uh, bunk torn apart and thrown under there see how it all fits So that's how it fits under there. Still plenty of room up in the bed area. Cabinet door still open. And this one, that one slides open. I'm gonna just roll the mattress up, the bunk bed mattress, put a bungee around it and just store it right there on the side. It's out of the way enough to where, you know, we can still lay on the bed and take a nap or, you know, read a book or whatever. It's out of the way. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so I added one more thing here. I um, just took a, a little strap, a, you know, a couple clips, and uh, mounted it to the cabinet there. And then one to the valance. And then I can snap that in place and... It'll stay there and, and not move around. And just like that, we've got the dinette back. Use the dinette and you've got the bunk bed stored under there.
plus extra storage on the side. So that's pretty cool. Got all that extra storage back there. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's going to work out good. Much more convenient. On the uh, those little cubbies up here, again, just by pulling the mattress back a little bit, you've got uh, full access, you know, to put whatever, you know, you need. Maybe you need to, you know, have something a little bit more secure. And uh, put it tucked away underneath the bed there. Same with that side. This one's a little bit easier to get to, actually. You don't have to pull the mattress back as far. It's right there. But you can see there's just lots of space. And it goes, it goes all the way back here. So that's pretty cool for hidden storage. Just do one more quick look at it. The bunks stored underneath. And uh, yeah, there's the access. I already showed you all that stuff. Really happy with it. Got my dinette back. Stoked. Well, I hope you guys liked that build. Uh, it was a lot of fun actually to come up with, with a you know design that that worked for my particular truck camper. But you know, you guys can adapt this design to any model of truck camper if you want the extra storage. You don't have to store a bunk underneath there. Um, you know, you can put lots of stuff uh, up underneath there, and uh, you know, picnic table, one of those uh, plastic. Um, you know, life, uh, lifetime or whatever they're Rubbermaid uh, tables that'll slide under there. Matter of fact, I've got a short one that'll fit under there. I might actually be able to put it on top of this one because it's, you know, it's pretty deep right there. But we've got the bed sheets under there. We can put extra clothes, and then of course we've got all that extra storage up front under the mattress. So that's pretty cool. And um, you know, having the ability to lift it up uh, easily and prop it up and leave it, you know, so you can mess around and you know get your stuff out that you need to get out I, I really like that feature so yeah I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below um, leave me a comment or uh, you know uh, if you have any questions on it just uh, you know shoot it leave, leave me some questions down there also but uh, yeah hopefully you like the video and our videos this is a three-part series so if you haven't seen the other ones you might want to go back and and check those out but, uh, yeah, so thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.